There was a time when you could repair almost anything you bought. All you'd have to do was grab the manual, a screwdriver, and just fix it. Try fixing something electronic now. There is no manual, and even the most mechanically minded won't be able to take off the outer shell, since they don't have the right tools. That's not an accident. Big electronics companies don't want you fixing anything. That's where iFixit comes in. They believe you have the right to repair anything you buy. iFixit is famous in the tech community for its free step-by-step -step guides to repairing or upgrading everything from laptops to game systems to phones. It's kind of like the Wikipedia for manuals. Anyone can post instructions and then the community updates them as they go. Even for first-time users, the guides are amazingly easy to follow. But knowing how to fix something is only half the battle. You need the right tools to get the job done, and iFixit can provide them. This is our 54-bit driver kit. It has the most common bits used in all modern consumer electronics, and we update this constantly to make sure it has everything for the newest devices. And for uh, bigger items, we've also got the universal bit kit, which has 128 bits in it, uh, covering all the bits you would find in the 54-bit, but also a whole bunch more. And then we also have our smartphone repair kit, uh, well, that kit is very comprehensive. It has everything for everything. This kit was designed to offer an affordable solution for repairing modern smartphones. Uh, since we have thousands of repair manuals just for repairing smartphones, we crunched the data from them and found out things like there's only seven driver bits needed to service all the modern phones. So we put together a package that uh, even a high schooler could purchase and start their own cell phone repair business. I'm really proud of the tools that we have designed here at iFixit and mm -hmm. how they have helped repair uh, in the world. iFixit repair kits come with tools you may not have even heard of, like the pentalobe and Torx bits that companies like Apple use. With iFixit guides and a repair kit in hand, your right to repair is restored. iFixit was founded in 2003 by Luke and Kyle in their dorm room at California Polytech. When trying to fix an Apple iBook together, they recognize just how difficult it can be to repair your own gear. But being able to overcome these difficulties is a great thing. Repair helps the environment and it connects you to the items you own. It's time to ditch the throwaway economy and join the repair revolution.